Kiana Q Live with Lives and in effect. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, the weather's getting back up. And so I'm happy to be here to talk to you for a minute. I'm gonna go outside and get me some fresh air. We're on day 16. Um, it's moving now, it's like it's moving pretty fast. We're over the halfway point, we're over the hump. So that's always good to get through the first half. So the second half should hopefully be smooth salad. I'm eating um really good and healthy food. So we'll see. So I'm down 12 pounds and I'm excited to have released that. I'm a little under the weather with these allergies, but I'm feeling much better. I've been oiling up, so I'm good. My eyes are just a little um a little uh, itchy. They're a little itchy. So <laughs> Um, hey, I see some people chiming in, joining in. Make sure you give me some thumbs up so I can know that you guys are here. I can't see you. Um, but we're on day 16 and we're so excited. I'm so excited I'm on day 16. Of course, the group is excited. Everyone's doing really, really well. I released 12 pounds so far. We're at the, uh, we're just over our halfway. It's day 16, so I'm excited about that. And so today I just wanted to talk about being impeccable with your word. So a lot of times we make promises that we don't keep and it could be not even intentional because sometimes it could be like we know straight out that we're saying something that's a lie, that is not a truth and that we're not going to keep it. But then sometimes we have promises that we make that we have every intention on keeping, but then something happens and we shift and we don't keep that promise. And so when I was younger, my mom always, because I was always say, oh, well, I had good intentions. Oh, I meant to do it. Oh, I was going to do it. And she would say, you know, the uh, the road to hell is paved for good intentions. And I didn't quite get it. And now I get it. <laughs> now I get it a little bit better because um, I'm seeing when I don't keep a promise, what happens on the other end to the other person I made the promise with. So even with our kids, like my son, he's really big on calling me out when I don't keep my word. He'll say, well, mom, you said that, you know, we were going to do X, Y, and Z. And so I say, okay, you're right. I did say that, so let's do X, Y, and Z. So being, um, being, being impeccable with our word can literally change your life. And you notice things like this when you're on your cleanse and you're making promises and then you feel like, you know, maybe you're not feeling that good that day. You're a little cranky because, you know, <laughs> you haven't eaten in three days. And you're like, I don't want to, you know, do it. I don't want to go or I don't want to call this person or whatever it is that you said you are going to do. Well, you, you know, you then take it upon yourself to just break the promise. So then your word, as people would say, your word is your bond. So then you have nothing else if you don't have your word. So I'm reading the four agreements with my group. And the first rule inside of the four agreements is to be impeccable with your word. To say what you actually mean um, and to follow through with it. And if you don't follow through with it, to, to make a new agreement, to call the person and say, hey, or, or talk to the person and say, I made the, you know, original agreement that I was going to, let's just say, go to the grocery store. I was going to go to the grocery store um, with you, but I need to make a new agreement because I'm not able to keep my original commitment. And then you make a new agreement. You don't leave the person hanging. You don't just, you know, um, fall back. You go back and make a new agreement. So I wanted to read a passage to you guys right out of the book. It's so great. So... That's why I got my glasses on so I can see. <laughs> so it says the word is not just a sound or a written symbol. The word is a force. It is the power you have to express and communicate, to think, and thereby to create the events in your life. You can speak. What other animal on the planet can speak? The word is the most powerful tool you have as a human. It's a tool of magic, but like a sword with two edges, your word can create the most beautiful dream or your word can destroy everything around you. One edge is the misuse of the word, which creates a living hell. The other edge is the impeccability of the word, which will only create beauty, love, and heaven on earth. Depending on how it is used, the word can set you free or it can enslave you even more than you know. All the magic you possess is based on your word. Your word is pure magic and misuse of your word is black magic. So you literally have the power of life and death in your tongue when you're speaking um, to people in your community, to yourself. We, we say really mean things to ourselves. We break our word to ourselves. Like 
this 30 day um, intensive. Some people have already been not impeccable with their word. They committed to doing it and then they dropped out <laughs> without any, um, you know, without any new agreements being made. So that's not being impeccable with your word. I myself, um, because I'm doing this video every day and I'm, you guys are very much holding me accountable. I'm holding myself accountable. I gave my word. I would talk every day about how I'm doing inside of um, the challenge and also bring you guys some little tidbits or whatever. Some tips and stuff to help you out through your cleaning. So that's why I do this every single day. I'm being impeccable with my word. And so I even had a conversation with someone today. I said, hey, I have to see how I, it aligns with me, how it fits in before I give a concrete I'm going to do something because I want to make sure that, uh, that I can fulfill what I say I'm going to do. I want to be impeccable with my word. So we have to really be careful of how we use our words because we have the power of life and death inside of them. So you want to make sure that you are not making promises that you cannot keep or are not even sure that you can keep. And if you do make a promise that you're able to keep, then you want to go and make a new agreement with that person who you made the promise to. Even if it's to yourself, make a new agreement. Don't just fall off and be like, oh, well, it's just it's just me. I said I was going to go to the gym today. I wrote it in my calendar and everything, but I'm not going no, make a new agreement. Okay, I did not go to the gym. I'm not going to be able to go to the gym today. I'm making a new agreement that I'll go to the gym tomorrow. You know, make a new agreement with yourself and keep it. Make something that you honestly want to keep for yourself um, and to other people. So be impeccable with your word. I don't see any questions. So I'll sign out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.